Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 134, rolling our way into September, looking down to the end of the year. Feels what it's like anyway. Uh, as always, these meetings are recorded for those of us that are unable to be with us right here, right now. What are we talking about? Well, we'll do triage up front like we have been, like we always do. Then we'll do a little bit more on Wix 4 status. Not that there's been a lot of visible progress, but a lot of behind the scenes progress has happened. And then, as always, we'll do questions, comments, other things people want to talk about. So let's just keep rolling on, getting into triage. Bob, you ready? So say we all. So say we all. I haven't heard that in a while. Uh, Wix 311, this has been around for a while. Yeah, let's just keep that on tap for. All right. You need another point. week. Okay. At least, add, yeah. Add an option to heat and MS build heat projects to add multi instance true to generated components. Okay, cool. Toss it to 4X and someone that wants to work on it could do that. Works for me. Yep. Wix firewall extension not overriding ex existing firewall exceptions. And you asked for a log file and they didn't fill out the issue correctly. Um, uh, one more week and then we'll come back and see where it's at. Uh, it's been a week. It's been nine days. I say they can come back with more data if they if they get it. Okay. I'm done with that. Wix 3.11 RTM generates invalid XML in license agreement dialog WXS. Really? We are decomposing a Wix PDB into a cab, then extract XML. We get this error when we try to do XSLT. What are they doing? Hey, someone who likes to play around with Wix PDBs. I've been there. Uh, the uh, the file does actually have a null at the end. Is that invalid? Um. Well, I don't know. Um. But it I can't, can't be invalid because we really you can't. I don't understand really that we th throw that data in. We use XML to write this data into the field, right? The XML writer. So if anything, this is a bug in the reader or the writer. Yeah, you got me. I, I don't. All right. Um, I, 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 I was looking for more detail about you know where that error is coming from because yeah. we've seen that coming out of um, you know the the uh, in Wix four especially the um, you know standard X document X element stuff. Um, so I'm not, yeah, I don't know where it's coming from. Uh, well, sorry, I know where it's coming from. I don't know where the error is coming from. You know. Okay, here's, here's the thing. Look, it, this isn't blowing stuff up. So if he'd like to fix it, how about we just have him or her fix it? Um, otherwise, we're like, it seems to be working. I'm, it's 2015. This is like... Two, more than two years ago and nobody's ever had an issue with it so like, eh. so if someone wants to fix it they can this sounds good yeah okay um, light fails to handle containers with relative path name well, that sounds odd That's not, oh, container name Z1. Okay. 
No, this seems like a probably a bug. Sure, could be. Um, let's toss it in four, and uh, you can give it to me, and I'll look at it when I get around to doing this again. It should be straightforward. Like, yeah, okay, that's busted. Um, Complus.net assembly upgrade works not correctly. Oh, is this the, yeah, this is the com plus not working correctly on things and doesn't work on .NET for assemblies and stuff like that. So I think we should toss this in fork and say, yes, someone should fix all these bugs. This hasn't been updated since, I don't know, 2008? Yeah, maybe later than that. <laughs> maybe. But, yeah. So, yeah, cool. Someone could totally contribute to the com plus extension. It hasn't been updated in forever. It only does .NET 2, which sounds crazy, but true. Um, include paths of linked WXI files to Candle. So if you have an include file, automatically add it in your Wix project. Automatically add that path so you can refer to the include file by just its name. Mm, okay. I could see someone doing that, maybe. Although, I wonder if we could break something, but... Well, I mean, basically, we'd have to add a new item group for include files so that we can also Do we not write... Have... We don't no. have that today. Oh, no. yeah, so this needs a whip. There's a lot of things that yeah. are here. Plus, Voted would have to understand it and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, Voted... Votive... Well, Voter would have to do the work, right? You add an include file, it would have to add it to a new item group and mm -hmm. write some metadata so that MS Build could, ex you know, the targets, a target somewhere could extract the uh, uh, the path from the metadata. Really? You can't add an include file to Votive today? Seems you like can, but, it's, but it shows up as, as a none type. Oh, it's a none type. How interesting. Yeah. Well, there's nothing, you know, to map it to. Uh, yeah, no. You don't, want, you don't want it to compile. Yeah, all right. This needs a whip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So cool. Someone could implement that. Um, great. And we're done with triage. We didn't have any left over from before, did we? Other than my perennial one. All right. I'm trying to think about at least thinking about looking for that. So all right. Cool. Moving on to Wix 4. So if you remember last week, we talked about the three big things going on in Wix 4, which is the repository reorganization, the .NET Core 2.0, and the compiler modernization. Um, and we said two weeks ago that that Sunday we would be hanging out and doing a lot of work on this front. And we did. Sean and um, Bob and I were together for, I don't know, seven hours or whatever. The video is actually up on YouTube if you want to sit for, I think it ended up being about six or six and a half hours of content. Um, some of it interesting, some of it probably more mundane, but I don't know. It, it's up there if anybody wants to kind of go back through it, maybe something to keep on background when you're going. Um, and then we've made progress since then to today. Uh, not quite as much progress as I'd hoped. I'd actually hoped that some of these things would be committed and we could point at them, but they're not quite there. A lot of it's on my machine almost ready, but needs another, I think, another day of focus to do that. I'm not sure I'll get it this Sunday, but that's actually my goal is to try to get to focus this down on Sunday. So what did we get? Um, in the repository reorganization, there's a lot of questions about how to do native code sharing. Um, had already figured out mostly how to do managed code sharing and also a lot of questions about how we we're going to build setup in the end. And I think that we've now, as of uh, uh, this last weekend, have all those design patterns kind of established. Um, I just need to get them all committed to the repo so you can see them. But that means that from here out, the repository reorganization, I believe, is mostly just mechanical work, not lots of, hmm, how will we solve that problem? Um, it's now just, hey, yeah, apply this pattern that we already did to dutil or to setup or to the core project, so on and so forth. Um, in .NET Core 2.0, there is a number of questions about, well, just how does it work and what can we do? Um, how do you do uh, native code interrupt with uh, .NET Core 2.0? And so there's been learning processes going on there um, and stuff like that. And on that last one, I'm in the process of writing a blog entry to talk about some of the challenges I had working with the magic that is loading native code into .NET Core code. Um, but anyway, all that is good stuff. 
um, and making progress and working quite well. So that's cool. Um, the last thing we haven't done any work on in any real sense is the compiler modernization um, because that will be the focus after the first two are kind of solved and in place for the most of it, but that's going to be soon. Um, and new patterns will be available there and then we'll have opportunities for people to go off and do work um, independently since there is lots and lots of compiler code that will need to be updated to a new pattern and hey, you'll be able to jump in and help. Um, so that's kind of a real fast summary of Wix 4 status. I'm not going to drill too deep into it because I can't point at any of the code yet, and it makes a lot more sense when you can see the code. Um, as usual, the code is, um, <laughs> there's a lot less code than there is time put into coming up with the code, <laughs> which is, I was kind of like, man, it took a long time to come up with those uh, eight lines of MS build code, um, as the case may be. Um, which I think Sean and I did this last weekend. Um, but it's very cool when you see it. So you're like, all right, cool, problem solved, move on to uh, new solutions. Anyway, things are going well, and uh, it's looking pretty, pretty cool. Um, he's making a comment somewhere that after thinking about this for quite a while this last year while we were doing Wix 3.11, um, focus on Wix 3.11, but thinking about what to do in Wix 4, um, I've been very pleased that all the thinking and rough sketching and planning around it is coming together essentially the way that it was kind of hoped and designed, um, which is pretty rare for a large system like the Wix tool set to have things work out mostly pretty well. So, you know, knock on wood that it continues to do so, but I'm really quite happy with what Wix 4 is turning into um, and will be over the next. Uh, couple months. And hopefully in two more weeks, I'll be talking more about how the repository reorganization is mostly complete. And there are areas where people could go jump in and help if they want to get a couple more repositories. Um, and the .NET Core stuff will just be .NET Core stuff. It will not be anything special. Just be like, yeah, here's code. And then we will be talking about what we're doing at the compiler and how you can jump in uh, potentially and write some code because all this build process and build organizations and CI, CD stuff, you know, I, I totally appreciate not um, areas that are necessarily very interesting and honestly require permissions to the repositories that not as many people have because, well, <laughs> not many people express interest in doing much in the Wix CI, CD process. So that's where I've been doing a lot of work with Sean and Bob. All right, so there we go. Top to bottom, bottom to top. That's where we're at. Really fast status. Any particular questions with Wix 4 right now before we go to general questions. I only ask because, you know, I, I don't expect any right now because it's still a little early to be able to see it um, because honestly a lot of the code's missing from the repositories. It's like on my machine and trying to get to a point where it would work when I pushed it up. So, uh, but happy to ask, you know, if people had general questions about it now, we could go over that. Um, but I didn't expect any. Cool. So, on that note, anything else people want to ask about? Clearly the focus is on Wix 4, yay, been saying that all year, and now it's actually true. <laughs> um, excited about where we're getting to, um, and we're holding serve on triage and the bugs and things like that. Anything else people want to talk about? Other things going on? We have a couple new faces, a new John and a, I think a Ronnie, it's kind of getting cut off. Um, Ronnie, yes, good. Um, hanging out. Is there anything you guys want to do, or are you guys just looking at maybe getting involved in the not-too-distant future? Um, so we'll go from there. Waiting for John to write his question. Um, and that's pretty much it. Short meeting. How much breakage there will be from upgrading from V3 to V4? Well, it is all a breaking change from V3 to V4, but our plan is that Wixcop will fix um, as many issues as possible going from V3, uh, Wix 3.14 to Wix 4. Um, there may be MS buildisms that we can't fix, although we're trying to make that work. Um, and if you're using Candle and Light directly, uh, mm -hmm. that should continue to work. So in general, um, except for the fact that you need to run Wixcop to migrate your source code from V3 to V4, um, which should just be a matter of running a tool and having it give you new WXS files. Um, the, there may be some tweaks to your build process based on what tools you're calling. Um, but otherwise, I mean, 
as far as a major upgrade goes, I don't expect it to be like horrible. But if you have a lot of code, I mean, it's going to take a bit to do the migration and verify and things like that. If you have a lot of code, you also want to jump in uh, earlier on Wix 4, not now, but when we reach points where we're like, hey, this is kind of working, and start verifying your code to help us flush out bugs in those migrations. Um, but overall, I don't expect it to be too bad. Um, the process won't be too bad. Um, yeah, I've I've run many, 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 many files of Wix 3, actually older Wix 3 authoring, not even you know, 3.11 or 3.14, through Wix Cop, and it's done an amazing job. I was pleasantly surprised because I expected it to be worse. As you know, it, it's it's not exactly a conversion, but you know there are elements of that, and I I expected problems. But the truth is, Wix Cop has done a very good job so far. Um, and now that's not to say that Wix Cop creates code that takes advantage of all of what Wix4 offers. That's true. It doesn't uh, make your code. It doesn't make your code Wix4 code. It'll make your Wix4 code look like the way you would write stuff in Wix3. But yeah, nothing wrong basically with that. If you like that yeah, style, it will continue to work. Um, but there will be things you'll be able to see in Wix4 that um, require far less typing than what you might have done in Wix3. That the Wix cop will not. Well, who knows? Maybe we could teach it some of that, but probably not too much of it. That requires a lot more of a human eye to kind of go, oh, this is prettier code than the others. Um, but I think it's safe to say we recognize that you know that tooling is important. So yeah, and at the and I'm you know probably you know come back after Christmas kind of thing, and it'll be time to be thinking about when to move. No, V3 and V4 mixing will probably not work. Um, that that will require a lot of work, and I'm not sure that we're going to be doing that, um, that kind of mixing. Um, if it gets easier, maybe we'll try it, but um, I don't expect that that will work. V3 and V4 Wixlib mixing probably will not work. It will be upgrade to um, a, upgrade across the board kind of thing. I know that would be hard, and and it's in the back of my mind of it would be really nice if we could still consume Wix three Wix libs, but it's just a lower priority item than making Wix four work end to end. Um, so we'll see how it goes. All right. So those are some good questions about Wix4. Um, anything else people want to know about, talk about stuff going on? No, no, all right, cool. I expected this to be a quick meeting. Just kind of wanted to give everybody updates, make sure we're moving through our triage, and uh, keep on keeping on. I'm probably more interesting when we get bugs that are actually related to Wix4 um, rather than you know particular personal issues people want with you know. <laughs> from Wix 3, like, yeah, if you have your personal issue with Wix 3, you probably should think about how you're going to solve that yourself or find somebody to solve it for you. But uh, those of us here, are a lot less interesting going back and doing that kind of stuff. We're looking much forward to going forward and making the world a better place. So anyway, on that note, think about Wix 4 coming, uh, more progress coming soon. Um, and I don't have anything else. You guys have anything else? No, nope. nothing for me. All right. Nope. All right. Uh, you guys have a good one. I wish I could say I had a definitive, hey, jump with us on this Sunday, but I don't quite have my schedule sorted out for this Sunday. Um, if I do, I'll send out another meeting request. You're welcome to jump in with me because that was actually kind of fun, um, and we got a lot done in one day. Um, if not, maybe we'll shoot for the next weekend. Until two weeks from now, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.